If you are like me, you are asked to do people slides and employee communications all the time. So today I'm going to show you my quick and easy way to have a beautiful page all done, super easy, and it's not an org chart, but we're going to use Microsoft Visio. So if you are interested in that, just keep watching. Thank you so much for joining my channel today. If you are new here, my name is Melissa Peoples. I'm an executive assistant coach and trainer, and it is my job to help you thrive and crush it as an administrative professional. So if that's what you're interested, take a minute and please hit the subscribe button wherever it is on this page. And let's get into the fun stuff. So let me just say this public service announcement. If you are not responsible for making one of these slides, trust me when I tell you that you will make everybody's life so much easier if you will please please, please put a usable picture for you on LinkedIn. If you want to be absolutely amazing, if you're in the Microsoft environment, you could head on over to Microsoft Delve and put your picture there. We will absolutely love you for it. If not, please put a usable picture on LinkedIn so we can stalk you without it being weird. Literally, this has happened. No joke. Staff meeting. Hey, we were going to send out these people announcements. However, I can't find pictures for these 10 people. So their manager is like, oh, let me go find one on LinkedIn. Oh, just kidding. Not there. Let's go to Facebook. Oh, just kidding. We only have pictures of their dog. The conversation of, do we leave their face blank? Or do we put their picture of them and their dog? Or do we put the picture of them and their dog in the car on a screen for an all hands? Trust me, not cute. Don't do it. These are hard decisions that I don't want to make for you. So please make it easy for me and don't make me stalk you. Thank you. Okay, now for everybody else who's making these slides, this is my quick and easy way I use with Microsoft Visio to very quickly get these slides done. Let me just tell you, it can take longer to find the pictures than it actually does to create the page. All right, y'all, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so for this example, I thought I would do something a little bit fun. We're going to pretend that all these wonderful EA advocates that hopefully you're following on LinkedIn and all of their social media platforms are going into my people slide and or into my org chart. Okay, so just a quick call out. In column A, I have everybody's name. In column B, this is typically where you would have their title or company or whatever. I just thought it would be fun to do their hashtags. And then over here is the manager. So how this is going to work, if in an org chart, it's going to consider this blank EA advocate because it doesn't roll up to anyone, the highest uh, level on the org chart. So that'll be important in a little bit. Okay, so for me, I would like to split my screen because I'm on my PC. So I'm going to hit my Windows key and then arrow to the left. And then it's going to ask me what other one you want to pull up. And I'd like to pull up on LinkedIn. Okay, so I've already saved Jeremy. Um, the next one, I'm going to look Christina. So on here, what I'm trying to do is if I am doing a people slide that requires everybody's picture and I do not already have them, if I'm looking them up on LinkedIn or if they have not sent it to me, then this is sort of the process. So you can right click on their picture, save image as, and then I'm going to just save it. It has to be exactly as her name is listed in my Excel spreadsheet. All right, so I would have finished doing that and then I will be right back. All right, so when you're ready, make sure that you actually have closed out. So save your file and close out of it. Okay, so I'm going to open Visio. I'm going to double click on org chart. Then I'm going to click on information that's already filed in this database. Click next. Choose the second one because I want it to come from my Excel file. Hit next. Then I'm going to go find it. I actually have it right here, so click on it. Then I'm gonna hit next. Okay, so now it's gonna ask me, how am I gonna find their name? So it's under employee name. It reports to manager. And then the first name is optional. You can choose to do that if you want. Um, I don't have it on there, but you can if you'd like to. And then hit next. I would like to show their name and if this was their title, so pretend that hashtag is a title, I'd like that to be displayed as well. So I'm gonna hit add and then hit next. And then I don't really wanna do anything here for this particular one, so I'm gonna hit next. Then it's gonna ask me where are my pictures, so I'm gonna go find them. And I have it right here. 
Oh, that went too far. Now you can choose, you can click on the top one if you do not want to have pictures in your org chart, but since I do, I'm going to go ahead and add it. Okay, so now it's going to ask me which column that I would like to match my pictures with. I'm going to choose the employee name and hit next. And then I'm going to ask it to go ahead and automatically create it based on my top executive. And then I'm going to hit finish. All right, so quick hello. This is actually my son's senior picture. So thank you, son, for letting me use you. All right, so I would like this all in one page. So I'm going to click on this. And then over here under layout, I'm actually going to do this side by side. So under layout, there's some different options you can play with route and see which one is your favorite. If you'll notice, I actually am not on here. So what I want to do is go ahead and add myself. And I can click over here. These are a bunch of different position types. If you hover over it, it'll tell you what it is. This is the manager and, and or this is the top executive and so forth. So I'm actually going to drag and drop it into the top one and it's going to add it to the bottom. And then if I want to add the picture, I can right click. Oops, picture, change picture. And then add myself, double click, add my name. I can double click in here, add my hashtag. And I'm good to go. So it's that simple. If you need to add someone at the last minute, now I'm going to double click in here and actually take this one out. Alrighty. So this is a very easy way to do a picture org chart. If you wanted to spruce it up a little bit, you could click under design and change the background. I actually think this one is interesting and fun. If you want to change the colors, you could do so. There's all sorts of variants that you can play with and see which ones that you like. Okay, so if I want to change the title, I would actually need to click on this page. So I'm going to click there. And then I'm going to click on, let's see, let's do this one. So let's title it. And then I'm just going to leave the date there. And then I'm going to go back and I can click on the top executive and pull it down a little bit. So if you're just doing an org chart, there you go. For me, I'm actually going to be using this for more of a people slide. So I'm going to go over here to org chart and I'm actually going to turn it to this one, the circle, because I just like the way that that looks a little bit better. I'm going to click on this one and change my layout again. I actually like this one for the circles. All right, so it looks a little crazy right now. So let's pull it down and fix it. So for me, because this is going to be a people slide, now, when I do this, I typically have this just as a connector where I get everything in the way that I want it to. As you can see, some people's pictures are a little off, so I'm actually going to fix that. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to go to picture format, click on the crop tool, and pull their picture down just a smidgen, just to where I like it. All right, so if I have everything the way that I like it, you can play with it now. For me, because it's a people slide, I don't want all these connectors. I'm actually gonna delete this top one. And now it looks just like a normal celebration. Hey, you guys did an amazing job. What I'm gonna do is I am actually going to get a hold of everyone and just move them up a little bit. If you wanted to, you could try to make these bigger. And that's it. Super easy. A lot of people don't have Visio on their system. Okay, so I'm actually going to change the save as type into a JPEG. And then I'm going to hit save and hit OK. All right, so let's just say that I'm ready to send out my email. I formatted the message part of it. And now I just want to hit insert. 
And I actually want to choose picture and not attach file. So I actually want to insert this into my email. And then I just go grab it. There it is. Super easy. It makes your life so much easier. There you go. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this very easy Visio hack. If you need to do a people slide that is celebrating either award winners or someone of the month or just kind of saying thank you to your team members. This is a quick and easy way to do that. I'd love to hear more thoughts on this, how you use Visio and how you do your people slides. Thanks everyone. Bye.